Hi, I'm Hugh Womack and today I'm going to show you how to get sources into Zotero. This video assumes that you've already done the Zotero 1 video and you've installed Zotero, you've created an account, um, and you've installed the browser plugin. Just like with Zotero 1, we're going to be using the Chrome browser today and we're going to point our Chrome browser to the library's homepage, csr.wfu.edu. And we're going to uh, show you how to add a book and a scholarly journal article to your Zotero library. Zotero needs to be up and running in the background for this to work, so you'll need to open the red Z icon that's on your desktop if you're on a PC, or that's in the Applications folder or in the Launchpad if you're on a Mac. So we'll open up Zotero, and you can see I have a lot of items in my Zotero library. You might be at a point where you have a few items in your library. You might not have anything in your library except the Getting Started Guide. That's fine. We're going to leave Zotero open and go back to the library's homepage, and we're going to do a search for a book and then show you how to add that book to your Zotero library. So I'll type in the Hate You Give, and I'll search for this title, and here we have the book. It appears that we have it in the Education Department. I can see all the listings for this book by clicking on More Book and Chapter Results. Oftentimes we have something, if it's a book that's been made into a DVD, we'll have both the DVD and the book. In this case, uh, I'm going to click on the title of the book. This takes me to the record. We do have it both in the main library and in the Education uh, Departmental Library. While I'm looking at this record, if I look in my Chrome toolbar, if I look in my Chrome toolbar, I will see a yellow folder icon. That means there's more than one way to access this item. If I were in a specific listing, I'd be able to just look at this one title and add this one title to my library, but in this case it's showing me the full range of search results that came up when I searched for the title, The Hate You Give. I click on the title, and it adds it to my Zotero library. I've added this book to my library, and now what I want to show you is what this book looks like in my Zotero library. When you add something to Zotero, Zotero highlights it. So it shows up as the highlighted item when you return to Zotero. And you can see here, here is the record for the hate you give. And if I look over here on the right, I can see that this item is a book. Here's the title, here's the author, here's a short abstract. It tells me it's the first edition, who the publisher is, the year. I have all the information I need to cite this book. So we'll go back to the library's catalog now. And this time I want to show you how to add a journal article. So I'm just going to go back to our search results, and I'm going to look over here at journal articles and see if there's some journal articles about this book that I might be interested in. I like this one that comes up at the very top, so I'll follow this link. I notice that, again, I see this yellow folder icon show up. I'll click on that, and I'll select the article that I want, the first article. I'll click OK. If I were to go all the way into the record for this particular article, I wouldn't see that list of 10 search results. I'll show you how this looks as well. I would see, instead of a yellow folder icon here, in the same location I would see a white sheet of paper icon. And that indicates to me that this is a journal article and that it can be saved to Zotero. So now I see a white sheet of paper icon instead of that yellow folder icon. But again, it's in the same place in my Chrome toolbar. The Zotero button will always appear in the same place in your Chrome toolbar. What will be different is the icon, and the icon represents the item type. So we've added this journal article now by clicking that icon to our Zotero library. If I go back to Zotero, here is this article. I clearly click twice because I added it twice. If I want to get rid of one of these duplications, I can just right click on it and say move to trash. And once again, I can see that I've got the item type, the title, the author, all the information that's needed to cite this source. So as you can see, it's very quick and easy to add scholarly journal articles and books to your Zotero library. You can also add websites newspaper articles, basically anything you can find on the web to Zotero, 
but it's not going to be good at citing sources outside of books and scholarly journal articles. So random blogs and websites, it's going to struggle to write those uh, bibliography entries properly, but it will store a record and a link back to those items so that you can fill in the necessary items to cite those sources. Now that you've learned how to add items to your Zotero library, continue on to video three where we'll show you how to get items out of your Zotero library and cite your sources in a Word document or in a Google Doc. Thanks for your attention.